Richard Feynman once said, nobody really understands quantum mechanics. What he meant was there are still deep mysteries in quantum mechanics. Some of those deep mysteries are taking a long time to understand, but have the ability to be exploited. For most of my life, I've been a physicist. I spent some time in the US. I arrived at Imperial College about 40 years ago to create the very beginnings of a quantum group there. In the outside world, nobody really cares. Are you a physicist, a chemist, a computer scientist, a mathematician? It's the nature of the challenge and what skills do you bring to those challenges? So nurturing a way in which you could get that grouping work together is something I really worked hard on at Imperial. We had an opportunity to translate that kind of thinking into a national program. And so what we've ended up with is a really large quantum technology program in the UK which pulls all these threads together of people in different disciplines, in electrical engineering, in civil engineering, in computer science, in physics, to actually realize the technological opportunities that quantum does. We built a, an ecosystem of universities working together with national labs, with companies. What we've been able to do so far, I think is to be able to manipulate systems at the atomic scale into new devices that have capability. If I had to identify something that we're still going to be on a journey for probably a decade, is to try to realize a quantum computer. A quantum computer has extraordinary power, but it's really hard to realize. So one of the things I've been involved in is the creation of the National Center for Quantum Computing, which we're putting together now. I suspect that my attitude to, to quantum and what drives me has changed over the years. I think for most of my career it's been trying to understand. But now I think it's the obligation to be able to demonstrate that this can make a difference. Getting the Faraday Medal was an extraordinary surprise to me. I didn't know I'd been nominated. Not quite sure who did all the work on it. I'm very grateful to them because I know that there have been some really transformative figures that have got the Faraday in the past. One of the very early winners was J.J. Thompson who discovered the electron. At that point, you do feel like an imposter at that stage. I think getting the Faraday is a recognition that we've moved things into technology. We've always talked about our UK national program as a national quantum technology program. I think is really telling us something about how we've achieved that journey.